Hi! Greetings from Wisconsin. Today I'm going to show you how to go on a dog walk right here in my state. Boys, do you want to go for a walk? You want to go for a walk, boys? You want to go Rolex? They do. Alright, well I just got to get ready, so I'll show you how I get ready. This morning when I got up, it was 18 degrees below zero. And it's been that way for a record amount of days. First of all, you start with a good base. Not this, but I've got my uh, cuddle duds, cuddle duds on underneath, and then you gotta have only one pair of socks, wool ones, made of alpaca. Those little alpacas, they can keep you pretty warm. And I take my old wool socks that are uh, all beat up, cut off the feet, and put those on for the wristlets because the wind likes to blow right up your sleeve no matter if you have an elastic or not. These are great. All right. Now I need some layers. I think that this was probably uh, maybe from the Boy Scouts. I'm not sure. Quilted and cuffed. The boys get really excited when I start getting dressed because they know that in about a half hour, I'll be ready. Okay, this one ripped me because I was so anxious to take it off when I got home. But it works pretty well. Quilted and uh, by the time I get this all on, I'll look like a little boy stout. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. And you know, one thing I forgot was a hair tie. I gotta have a hair tie because my hair drives me crazy because it's so dry in our house because it's so cold in our house. We keep it at 63 because it costs so much money to heat the doggone house. So my hair is always really ecstatic -y. I'll have to get a hair tie. Now these are old Swiss Army issue pants. Fuzzy on the inside, water resistant on the outside. Good luck finding them. I'm a good thrifter. What's great is that it's got zippers on both sides of the legs. So if you actually might get too warm sometime, you could unzip them on the sides and keep them up. Tuck everything in. Velcro for easy on and off. Make sure you went to the bathroom before you got dressed. Otherwise, you're in trouble. Okay, you know, and one thing, if you really want to be stylish, I also have this beautiful gold lame snowmobile suit. <laughs> yeah, it's great for Packer games. Now, my boots are sorrels. These boots are 20 years old, hardly worn at all. New uh, liners inside. You know, I've got these other kind of fancy boots. Lovely, delicate, feminine, but they're not warm. On the bottom, I've got some really good grippers, though. See those grippers? You need those when it's icy. Now, I was going to go snowshoeing today, but which is great where I live, here near Green Bay, because the snow is about this deep, and uh, I need snowshoes to walk these guys. But it's been so cold that there's a hard crust on the snow, <laughs> and I don't sink in anymore. So I'm just gonna wear my boots. Slide it in there, Velcro, zipper down. Everything needs to be tucked in. Because that wind, <laughs> that adds to the excitement of taking a walk with your dogs. Okay, now one good thing about this is while you're getting dressed, you're really getting warmed up. Now you need to keep your core warm. So I like a nice poofy vest or a good wool sweater. Wool's the only way to go if you don't have down. It's got to pretty much be bird or sheep, alpaca, llama, or bequinia if you really want to spend the money. My coat is a llama coat that I got in Peru. And uh, it's warm. And if you wear a vest, then you can move your arms around. And that's really great. Because I'm going to try to 
fill my bird feeders. And birds are really hungry. My zipper broke twice, but of all the coats that I've got back here, this is the one I like. Zip that up. And then, the most important thing you need is headgear because you lose all that heat out of your head. Right, Gilbert? Right, Relax? Yeah! We were going to put on our boots today, but not for this little show. These guys wear boots, too, sometimes. Here's my black snood, and it's really great if you, you know, want to look like a ninja. This is where the hair tie would really come in handy. So I can't stand that hair flying around. Tuck that in. It's like Sean T. Tilt, tuck, tighten. But this is how to walk in the winter. Now take your turtleneck and put that around this neck. Keep that secure. Add a second hat because you don't want your head to burn off from these winds. I mean, it's cold outside. I don't mind it though. We do this every day. Don't we, boys? Can you sit? Sit. Good boys. You wait. And the final thing, good mittens. You gotta have the wool ones. That's the only way. All right, got it all in there. I'm feeling stylish. I'm feeling warm. And I'm really gonna be outside for about an hour. Do this every day and you'll have a good time in Wisconsin too. Bye bye, let's go boys. I oh, gotta unlock the door. <laughs> I gotta turn off the video camera. Have a great day.